Okay, so here's another verify problem where we want to verify this trig identity. And so again, I kind of ignore the easier side over here and I try to focus on this one. Um, the other reason I want to focus on this, again, if you see a summer difference, you know that you have a tool to use there. So um, again, cosines tend to couple up here. So the cosines are together and the sines are together. Right, and in cosine, um, the sine is opposite from what the difference was, so it's going to be a sum. All right, so again, those are something you can look on your formula sheet, and as soon as you see a difference, you're like, oh, cosine with difference, it's the alpha minus theta thing, and then you use that formula. All right, so at this point, um, cosine theta and sine theta don't know, but these guys are on the unit circle, so if I make my unit circle come over here to pi, um, that's what negative 1 on the x and 0 on the y. And so my cosine is a negative 1, so I could sub in a negative 1 there, cosine theta. Plus now my sine here is 0 times sine of theta. All right, and so <clears throat> then I'm going to get a negative and then times the cosine of theta. Now this guy is just going to be 0. And so you can see right there um, where that guy comes in. All right, and so this is what I wanted to get. This is what I did get. And again, the steps, I just used the difference formula, wrote it, um, looked at the unit circle to get those two. Um, this equals zero. That just brings the negative, and I get exactly what I wanted to prove.